it's 10 o'clock at night here in Dhaka and it's time for us to leave and head all the way down to Cox's Bazaar. Now, we're getting a bus there. We didn't want to get the bus, but the train was not available. So, let's leave our hotel behind and head to the bus. Ah, I don't want to go. Do you, can you phone a taxi to... Uber. Uber? Okay. To Aram... Arambak. Arambak, yeah. yeah. And maybe Arambak, this is your... Uh, green Line? Green Line. Yes, yeah. Green Line bus. To so, Cox's Bazaar. Now you, you can Uber, use, or like normally taxi or same We cannot order Uber. Uber, yeah? Or no, we cannot. It doesn't let us. It does not no. work for phoning. Oh, okay. Are we made it? My yes. Phone? Okay. Yeah, we're making sure we leave and yeah. plenty of time. The bus Hello. is not until another hour and ten minutes, but going by the traffic we experienced a few days ago, let's be organised yeah, and sensible and leave in time. What do you want, CNG or? CNG is good. I feel more confident that someone yes. else is booking it, so it's not mine or Alan's responsibility yeah. to make sure we <laughs> choose the right destination. Have you been to Cox's Bazaar? Yes. Is it nice? Nice. Beach. Oh, good. Uh, nice beach. Good. Longest beach in the world. Longest beach in the world? Wow. Oh my goodness. What is the distance? Yeah. How long? We have 96 kilometers. 96 kilometers. Wow. Super. I don't even think that's walkable. No. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty stressed now. We actually only have around 35 minutes to get there. We get boarded on time. And not pretty sure where the mode of transport we're taking, but we'll see how we get on. This is going to be tight. Perfect. Oh my goodness. I'll put that up there. Oh my god. Thank you. No problem, ma'am. Got everything. Have a good journey, ma'am. Okay. Thank you very much for helping us. No Thank you. Ma'am, six shooter or six shooter? Sixty and sixty. One hundred twenty. Okay, 20. in total. That's Is great. That? You ready? Six shooter or six shooter? One hundred twenty taka, two risk. Okay? Okay. Okay, you are willing to go to Agartala. Okay. I will meet you there. Thank you. And here we are. We are often racing through Bangladesh. What is your name? My name is Alan. My name is Mehdi. Nice to meet you. So when you're going through Dhaka, you might notice that there is no lights at night. Look, these street lights are all out. So we're officially racing through the streets. Who's going to win, me or Shannon? Come on. Who's got the best rider? I think this guy. He's got the yellow jersey on. That means number one cyclist. Shannon's gaining on us now. She's catching up. About to edge into the lead. <laughs> oh yeah, Shannon's got a bus. Is that oh Jesus. Oh, pretty bumpy back here and I'm sliding about this little seat trying to hold my bag and my suitcase. Oh my god, this is far from ideal. Oh. And this guy must have the strongest legs in Bangladesh. He has not stopped once and he's got me and my two bags on the back of this. Although he has fallen behind Shannon, look, she's way up there. Ah, uh -huh. oh, this is where we're going here, Green Line. This is it here? Hi. Oh, perfect, thank you. Just need to go around because of this little thing, so we can't stop here. Wow. See the size of that truck going by, it has on this little thing. Coming in hot on the inside now. <laughs> okay. Oh, big bump. Oh. oh. One, two. One, two. One, two. No idea. We have enough time. We have enough time. We does not know which one it is. But we have enough time. Oh, my God. This is so bumpy. I'm literally sliding off this seat trying to hold my two bags. Scotland! <laughs> oh, this is absolutely mental. There's people coming from every single direction. Oh, 
The size of the little seat that we were on. Yeah, it was so thin. I was even I was slipping off it. No. Alright, let's find the bus. Okay, so we are travelling with Green Line. We have absolutely no idea what this bus is gonna look like. If we've got a seat, if we've got a bed. As long as we're together, I'm happy. So we're outside the ticket office now, so let's go and see what we're working with. You nervous, Alan? I'm not nervous, but I'm not expecting much. Yeah, I feel like the best way to deal with these uh, overnight buses is just to not think about it until the second you're about to step on the bus. Hello. We are travelling to Cox's Bazaar. Yeah. Do you need to see a ticket? Yeah. This is where we find out we're at the wrong place and it's an hour's drive away which we will not make. The next green line? Further up? Okay. Okay. No problem. Thank you. There we are. We're at the wrong place, but not far. Green line? Oh. Thank you. That was the boy that helped us when we came off the, the rickshaw there. Hello, Is this green line? No, it's not green line. Green line? Ah, it's over there, I think. Get up, get Jesus. up, get 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 That was actually my fault. We don't have a phone number with the 
new SIM card that we got, it doesn't have an actual number, so I just kind of put a random one. Oops. Luggage is token for. Okay. Two token, two luggage. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Go. Thank you very much. Welcome, sir. Thank you for your help. Thank you. Oh, bloody hell. Thank you. Well. <laughs> so, this is where we are going to spend how many hours? It's eight and a half. Eight and a half hours. So. It's not like in a sleeper bus we have a bed. Ten. Ten hours? Okay. Oh my gosh. Ten hours. Okay. Yeah. Actually this could be better than a bed to be honest because sometimes the beds aren't long enough. Now I don't know how clearly you can see out the window there but as I said already it's after midnight and we are stuck in standstill traffic. That is honestly just how busy it is here in Dhaka. The bus company has a ticket please. A ticket? Oh. Uh, <laughs> is it, I have no idea what I've done with the ticket. Perhaps. It all happened very fast, I'm not gonna lie. Ah, that's ticket. Thank you. Yeah, so you get a free bottle of water with your seat and do you know what? This is way comfier than one of those little lie down beds that you just don't fit in. So this all goes smooth but I'm sure there'll be a few twists and turns along the way. Are you okay? You're fine. We have just crashed like quite heavily and the entire front window is smashed. Bloody hell. Oh, everyone's okay. Yeah, there's a lot of people like about. That was like such a bad crash. We're not even stopping, it's just driving. The whole window is like completely smashed. I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting I know, I kinda want off this bus now. Ah, do you know what? We actually had a conversation last week when we said we're never going to do a sleeper bus ever again because they're so dangerous and these people drive like maniacs. I know, don't even have a seatbelt or anything. I know, and we could not. The oh, windows just fell in. The glass is coming in the bus. The one is literally saying a thing right now. Sorry, I'm crying. I'm actually like so scared. <laughs> like, the actual window is open like the glass is out the window and we are just driving But there is literally no windscreen on the bus, and we didn't even stop. We didn't even know if we hit anyone, if we had a bus. The driver is an absolute pussy and couldn't even get out of the bus to stop. So now we have to sit on an hour. I don't really want to sit on this because the guy clearly can't drive his bus, and we don't have a windshield, he can feel the wind coming through. Right, so we've stopped and it's time to change bus. Oh, it's so bad. Is it bad? It's worse than what we thought. Oh my god, that's the wind. What is It's glass on the driver's seat. Oh my god. <laughs> Wow, so this is what we've just been driving in for the past hour. <gasps> the front of it is 
glass everywhere, look. Drivers run. Up. Didn't even have the balls to stop and they don't care about our safety here at all. Look at this. Ridiculous. All smashed. This is the inside. Oh my god. Look at that. Good right. So look, obviously smack something here. Took out the entire window. And these guys here didn't even think it was good enough to stop at the side of the road. They didn't even stop. These guys didn't even stop. Green line. They didn't even stop at the side of the road to see if they'd injured anyone, to see if the vehicles were damaged. These guys, absolute pussy. Not even get the balls to see if they'd hurt anyone. Green line. Never travel with green line. Health and safety in Bangladesh, zero out of ten. That is ridiculous. You see the state of that bus? Didn't even have the balls to stop. Oh, I can't believe that. That's so bad, isn't it? Yep. My heart is racing like mad right now. See the drivers and a runner? Yep, he's off. Look at the inside. See just the impact we must have had. Like, look at this right up in there. That has just completely came off. Glass everywhere, and then the whole of where the driver was sitting. I can't believe that he actually drove for another hour after that. The wind hitting him. What an absolute prick! Does not care about anyone's safety. An absolute prick. We actually asked the guy in the white shirt if we could stop. We asked him twice. He just shook his head. I said, "Do you want me to phone the police in because we are driving a crashed bus down the road?" He didn't slow down. He said, "No, no, please don't phone the police." So I said, "Do you want me to phone the police? Why do you stop the bus?" And I'll also just say, since we've stopped, all we've been done, all, all that's happened is we've been took off the bus and guided into a reception area. Not one person has said anything. Nobody has said a single thing. Like, so fucked up. Why did he not stop? He didn't stop to make sh <gasps> No, you don't, I know, I know, I know. You don't know, you don't know. He did not stop to check there was children okay. There was adults. He did not stop. I can phone the police right now. He did not stop. Driver not stop. No. no, driver not stop. Driver didn't slow down. Driver sped up. Driver did not stop. Driver did not care if anybody was hurt. I don't blame this driver. You have to apologise. Not one of your staff members have said sorry to all of these people. It's ridiculous. There are children here and nobody says sorry. Nobody no, applauds. Nobody one. asks, is everybody okay? No word sorry is uh, any person. No, you've not asked. No. Has anybody asked? It? Is he okay? Is he okay? Is I, 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 Sorry, sorry. Are you going to stand up and say sorry to everybody? Is anyone going to ask if they are okay? Because there has been an... It's not funny. We were waiting on the bus and another bus has just pulled in here and the whole window is completely smashed again. Look at the state of that! Green Line do not ever use this company. Honestly, I wish we did not have to go on another bus, but three and a half hours away from where we went to be and there's no train or anything, so it's like, kind of out of options. Well, it's nearly eight in the morning, so we've been here for two and a bit hours. This is an absolute shit show. Um, bus still isn't here, they're not giving us an answer. There's so many people, there's children, there's Elderly. families, yeah, old people, all just sitting here waiting, not of a clue. So. I'm really angry now, like, the fact that, like, another bus has came in and it's, like, smashed up. They're actually cleaning it, so they're not taking it off the road. Like, I just have no confidence in this company. And it's just put us in a pure horrible situation, like, knowing that we're having to go on another bus and maybe risk our safety. And here is the replacement bus. My f God, look at the state of this. Smashed. Let's look at the back of this bus. The entire window. Look at this. Smash. They actually teach these bus drivers in Bangladesh how to drive. It doesn't look like it. Every single bus that's came in this bus park has been smashed up and the one we're about to get back on. Unfortunately, smashed. And let's check, check out the front. And the front of the bus is also smashed. Look at that. Look, smashed, smashed, smashed.
If you are going to travel to Bangladesh, do not travel by bus, because this is what you will put your life in the hands in. Absolute death trap. Don't trust green line, that's for sure. Yeah. Where's that gas? Smell a smash. So the current thing here with the buses in Bangladesh, I think this will be the last bus that we get on in our trip to Bangladesh, Alan. Bus drivers here just do not care about anyone's safety. They don't look in their mirrors when they're going, they don't stop at crossroads, they no. just fly through as you've seen tonight. We've had many near misses on buses <laughs> and we actually decided never to travel by bus again, but we had no choice. We'll have to stay in Dhaka for six more nights, yeah. which is not an option. Notice that like the, the host that took us to our seat from the last bus is also here. It doesn't make me feel any safer considering he didn't help us in any way or didn't even speak to us the last time, so that is smashing. Yeah, not a single person that said sorry. This has been about a four hour delay now. It's 8, eight o'clock. I don't know if you'll see through the fence, that's another bus with a smash windscreen. We are absolutely gambling with your life, travelling by bus in certain parts of the world. Not worth it, do not do it. The driver, he didn't stop. He smashed the whole window and drove for one hour. For one hour after he drive with no window, didn't stop. We could have killed somebody. I, uh, appreciate you. No, it's not. It's the driver's fault. It is driver's fault. I can understand. But you buy the ticket economy bus, okay? Can yes. I can provide the same bus economy bus? You travel. This uh, man is job is already is uh, already jobless. There was children and elderly people on that bus. Not one of your staff members came up, listened to me, and apologised for what had happened. They didn't ask the people that were on your bus if everyone was okay. We didn't know if the people that we crashed into were okay. And you oh, only two person is complain oh. this. You only two person complain this situation. Do your drivers have a license? Yeah. Do you put them through a test? Obviously. What sort of test Every do they go through? Every bus driver's uh, license is uh, authorized the BRTC. What sort of test do they go through? Uh, fifteen uh, day or thirteen day, I can trial the driver. And Every what bus. is their sleeping pattern? Do they get time off? Did the driver fall asleep tonight? Yeah, this is uh, already handled this company. So did he fall asleep? Yes. Simple answer: yes or no. My company provide. A 1,500 taka. This is yours. You try to another bus, another situation. You no one can pay any any single penny. And even if you're giving us half the money, everyone in that bus deserves half the money. You put everyone. I will at provide risk. yours, sir. Take it. Thank you. I'm extremely sorry this situation. Thank you. Well. I don't really think we need to give a summary of that video. I think you've seen the story pretty well, but we made it here at 2 p.m., which is six hours after we were scheduled to. Yeah, I'm just glad we made it safe in the end. Anyone watching this that's thinking of going traveling anywhere in Asia, I'd advise you to avoid buses at all costs. We've had many of incidents where something like that could have happened before, so. It's just a wake up call, wake up call not to go on these buses because they are just ridiculous. And they actually don't really give a shit about your safety, so avoid them.